Tonight, Siouxland District Health is reporting nine confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Woodbury County with a total of 322 negative tests. Many of those tests conducted at the county's drive through testing site located at 10th and Pierce Streets here in Sioux City. KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Bach tonight takes us to that testing site and shares how nurses there are working to stay safe while conducting about 40 tests a day. That's our top story at 10. We feel it's now time to let the community know that we're right across from the health center on 10th Street near Pierce. The testing site swabs for COVID-19, strep throat, and the flu, but only at the request of your doctor. There's still a lot of strep and flu around, so, you know, and those can cause some of the same symptoms. That's why it's important to know the differences when it comes to COVID-19. The major signs and symptoms are fever and a cough. Now, some people get uh, loose stools. Uh, other folks lose their sense of smell and taste, uh, some headaches, some muscle ache. The testing site is seeing around 40 people per day. But Siouxland Community Health Doctor Michael Pipwani says that number could soon rise. So I believe the latest uh, projections now show a peak for Iowa in about three to four weeks. It's been drastically reduced uh, from previous estimates because of the social distancing we have been doing. And we need to do more of that and wash our hands. And the CDC says we should probably be wearing face masks, all of us. Nurses at the testing site are geared up for the influx of people that may need testing. They're all wearing the proper PPE. They have an N95 respirator that they've all been fitted for. They wear a face shield, gloves, gowns. Siouxland Community Health is pleased with the amount of supplies they have on hand. They're just asking the community to continue to follow the CDC's recommendations. I was doing a great job with social distancing. Please keep doing that. Let us come to work and do our jobs. You stay home and, and don't spread the virus around. Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.